It's 8.30. It's a moving day. Did you say good morning? Yeah. Every morning, Lazarus likes to jump up on our bed before we put it up. And then he refuses to get down. And oh he gosh. just fell. Oh my gosh. Not sure. Not sure if we caught that, but it's not the first time it's happened. Lazzy. You can't roll all over the place. You'll fall down. Good thing that wasn't off the entire bed. Oh boy. So today we are moving. Uh, we are going from just outside of Jacksonville, Florida to Savannah, Georgia to Creek Fire RV Resort. I believe it's about two and a half hours. We're going to show you what it's like in the life of Mick vacations on a move day. So that includes packing up and heading there. each have our own routine when it comes to getting the RV set up. Um, I normally take care of the back, which is uh, the old garage, which is now our office and our master bedroom. That includes everything from getting the bed put back up, getting all of our bicycles put in, getting our kayak put in. I do need help when it comes to that type of stuff. And then just kind of strapping everything down, cleaning everything up. Now to move the bed, uh, we actually have some switches right on the wall. This is how you put it up. And what we do is I just, I just make sure, oh, before we do that, I can't forget the cat. Come here. Come on. Yeah, I know, you're not happy. Mm -hmm. mm. Hand and mouth. The bottom of the bed, we want about level right with the, the top of the shade. So all in all, it normally takes us about an hour to an hour and a half to get, to get ready. But on a morning like today where we're filming and, and vlogging how we do this, it'll probably take us about two, two and a half hours. So this is the master bathroom. What we do to get ready for move when it comes to this bathroom is we just kind of shove everything in the sink. Again, nothing was put away um, prior to starting this vlog. So stuff's, you know, all over the place. So we just stop up the, uh, the drain and throw anything loose. And yeah. And uh, that's about it. The monitor and the Starlink we actually keep on the boys' bed when traveling. It tends to do okay there. Now what I'll be doing is just kind of doing all the small nuanced stuff to get things ready to go. So Grayson, on move days, what do you do? I clean up the bathroom and the bedroom.
So while Grayson continues to clean the bedroom, uh, a lot of times he's just gonna kind of clean everything up, get everything off the floor. I'm gonna take you outside with Oliver and uh, start getting the bikes ready. We have a Retrax Pro, I believe, is the uh, tonneau cover we have. I wouldn't recommend it, it's not great. Uh, scratches up pretty easily, and uh, but it does protect everything in the bed. But So uh, Oliver, uh, his chores include getting the uh, the bed cover off, getting the bed ready for, for hitching up. Um, also includes getting the bicycles uh, towards the back of the garage to get ready to, uh, to get put back there and secured. And then he also does the chocks, the, the tire chocks. We have a specific order uh, that we tend to do the bicycles. Uh, Grayson's bicycle, which is this blue bike, is what uh, we actually strap to the desk. Uh, we have five bicycles, but we only have four racks for the bicycles to go in. So we actually strap Grayson's bicycle to the desk. And then uh, after Grayson's bicycle, we do mom's mountain bike. We then do my mountain bike, which is actually, we keep inside. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive. It's a little bit more valuable. So we tend to keep that locked up inside. Then we do uh, Joanna's cruiser bike, and then last uh, but not least, we do Oliver's mountain bike. All right, I'm gonna show you how I get the kitchen ready to go on our travel day. Gotta get everything kind of in the sink and put away because we don't want anything out. So we use these um, like bags and this collapsible hamper to put our uh, kitchen stuff in when we're traveling so that it doesn't move all around. All right, we stick our rug that I folded up. It goes under the table. And then our dehumidifier um, that we usually store right here, it goes under the table on top of the rug. So what are you doing now, Oliver? So I am putting the chocks up. What is that that you use? Um, a wrench. Thing. A wrench? Okay. Oh. And what do these chocks do? They tighten the wheel so the RV doesn't move. They turn the wheel so the RV doesn't move? I said tighten. Tighten, there you go. So chocks. Oh. Good job. Joanna's just finishing up uh, the kitchen area right now, and then we're gonna do uh, the kayak. We, we tend to do the kayak first before the bicycles. We'll get that hung, and then we'll get the bikes put away, and you can see how we do that. I do have to check the kayak for, especially when we're in Florida, I check it for snakes and any animals that might try and hide inside.
There you go. You're good. Keep going. kitchen stuff in the sink so I'm gonna cushion the bottom of the sink and then um, I've got some I normally put this basket in here and the butter and whatever else is left over there like these old bananas and then I take um, this towel to cushion this side and take the stuff off the stove area <laughs> salt and pepper, and then I take my oven mitt and I put our olive oil in it just so it's cushioned. Cushion that. All right, and then these waters we're taking with us, and everything else is good to go. So Grand Design has this one control system for our RV. It can control the lights, it can control the HVAC. It also can turn our generator on and off. And we're about uh, 30 to 45 minutes away from leaving. And what I like to do is something I learned from Chad at Changing Lanes, and that's uh, to go ahead and prime the generator and run the generator for a good 30, 45 minutes every time. We try and run it at least two to three times a month. Uh, that keeps it in tip-top shape. Uh, I just changed the oil filter and oil at about 50 hours and that was I want to say about a month or two ago. Uh, so all we have to do to, to start that generator, see this little button, turn it on, and we'll see if we can hear it turn on. With the generator now on, we can actually unplug power. I do this and it makes life a little bit easier. Um, the power cord we keep in a bin that we actually keep in the back of my truck. I have found with a 50 amp cord, 50 amp cords are not easy to work with and get pretty unruly. Uh, at least in the heat, they, they're a little bit more malleable. But what I do is I go ahead and just set the bin on the ground. Here's where it comes into the RV. This is where it comes to the pedestal. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the breaker before unplugging it. And now we can go ahead and unplug it. And uh, I'll show you how I get it into the bin. So 
for the boys slide we've obviously uh, removed the master bed and added these bunk beds so we have some felt thick felt under the uh, posts of the um, bunk bed so I still like to lift up when um, we bring the slide in just so it doesn't create any problems on the floor or anything so I have Grayson um, push the button to bring the slide in and then I just lift here So this is about what the room looks like when we are traveling. The bunk beds don't come all the way in as you can see since it's not a full size bed. Um, we'll probably move that star link to the bottom once Lazarus moves. But yeah, ready to go. I make our own bread now because we were getting tired of all the chemicals and things in store-bought bread. So every week now, I make a new loaf of bread. What are you doing, Oliver? What are we checking for? Um, things that might destroy the floor, like over there. Yeah. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm hooking up all of our electronics for the ride. We've got our uh, Garmin RV890. Uh, we use this along with Waze on our phones. Then we've got our Furion camera system. This, we've got uh, three cameras hooked up. We've got a camera on each side of the RV, and then we also have one in the very back. This is an absolute necessity uh, when towing. And last but not least, we got our TST tire monitor. This monitors our trailer tires, but this one measures both the temperature of the tire and the PSI of the, of the tire. And that just goes down here. And then we've got our dash cam up here, along with our sun pass here for all the tools. Yeah. I know. You're not excited. Yeah. I know. Your most unfavorite part. Okay. <laughs> are closed we are ready to attach the truck to the RV boys relieve the pressure I've learned many times you don't want to spit back at you
right, so now Steve is going to do a tug test to make sure we are hitched up properly and that we are pulling the RV. And I'm gonna just lift the front um, jacks just barely off the ground so that if it does fall, it doesn't crush our truck. Yep, good. Yep, all good. What about the inverter? Yep. We are finally on the road. We have about two hours to go until our next campground. Uh, we're heading to Creek Fire RV Resort in Savannah, Georgia. So we'll show you guys how we set everything up and we'll see you then. They got another big Nate book in there. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Alright, so we gotta go around there and then through the gate and then you pull into site 23. So, so I have to go around this? Yeah, go around and then through that gate. Okay, sounds good. We are parked in our spot. Now we just have to undo everything we did this morning. Thank you. 
And this is going to take a while to set up. You think we should speed it up? Yeah. Okay. Ready, set, go. Ah, much better. We're going to go do a bike ride around our new RV park, which is Creek Fire in Savannah, Georgia. So we are about to go explore on our bikes. I'm going to try to... Have dirty things in my box. Gross. All right. I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna try to attach this GoPro to my bike handles and see how that goes. So, so you guys can see a tour. All right, see you in a bit. Our neighbor has their little cat outside in a little tent. How cute is that? Hi, Sydney. Hi, you sound just like our kitty. Doesn't it sound like Lazzy? Oh, she's very friendly. Hello. There's a lake. Look at this cool lake. Oh yeah, alligators and snakes, so you gotta be careful. the playground and tennis courts. All right, now we're gonna go back to the RV and figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. It's like an ice cream cone mm -hmm. made out of shrimp. Mm -hmm. No, coleslaw. Shrimp and coleslaw, is that good? Yeah. 